What is up guys? It's Peter here from Broke Visionary Collective and in this video I'm going to show you a quick simple tutorial on how you do a camera shutter effect or a camera shutter transition. Really sim super simple. You can use this for photos or video. And what the effect is, is you're essentially a fake camera snapshot to freeze frame a photo or video so you can transition it to a next shot or you can just use this as a fake camera effect while you're doing a video. So for the purposes of this effect tutorial, and I'm using Adobe Premiere 2018 because I don't like to use 2019 and 2020 because chances are they're going to crash. So what I have here is four photos. And what I'm going to do is just drag them all into a 10, 19, 20, 1080 timeline. So your normal 1080p timeline and I drag these straight onto the timeline. So next what I'm going to do is photos themselves I'm just going to scale to frame so they match the frame size and I'm just going to zoom it in so it actually fits the crop of the video. And yes I'm choosing hockey because I'm Canadian and you know we're all about Dem hockey, you know what I'm saying, eh? Okay, now that all my photos are how I want them to be framed, next is you need to download some sort of camera effect sound or a fake shutter sound. And you can find this on YouTube, you can find this on Realty Free Sites, and I have one right here. So I'm just gonna set my in and out points, and that's what it sounds like. And what I'm doing is I'm going to place them in between each clip. So it'll act as an extra more realistic feeling to transition. And you don't want the sound effect to actually go on for too long and you want to place it in between these two. Okay, now that we have each of these photos in between and using the sound as a transition, as you can already see, that's how the effect is going to be like. But that doesn't look really look that believable. So an added on top of that is what you do is click new item. You go to color mat, click OK, go to white, which is all the way in the corner. Or if you're a super nerd and you know the hex color, it's just six Fs. Click OK, OK. And exactly where you place the audio sound of that shutter effect. But that itself doesn't look that cool, right? So what I do is you go to the color mat, you click effects, and you go to the blend mode. You click toggle this off because you don't want to have keyframe the opacity. And I go to screen. And what blend modes essentially do is it takes all the colors of, of all the lights or the whites in that image and it darkens them or depending on what blend modes that you can see the color mat go through if that makes sense but since the original image is pretty has a lot of whites already what all all you can do is you go to your it's normal blend mode and you just have like a let's say 50 percent opacity on a normal blend mode and it'll be like a fake shutter effect but this is a little too long I would probably have it at two keyframes, two to three keyframes, one, two, two keyframes. And I would take the shutter effect and just shorten it so it matches. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, there you go. So once you just play around with how it looks, I'm using uh, one, two, two frames, and I'm lengthening the shutter effect sound just a little bit. And let's make this a little bit more epic. epic and there you go and once you have the the proper timing of these two clips all you really need to do is you hold shift on my pc user and then hold alt and it'll duplicate that and you just place it on it next without having to manually do it again and again. 
So I want to make this a little bit more fast paced. So I'm just going to shorten these clips a little bit. And that is your camera shutter effect. It is pretty that simple. And you can play around with it with like different photos or videos and have stills in it. But that is the basis of how you do these types of effects. And all it is is just a color mat with a sound clip underneath it. And you can be super creative with these and have like, for example, an actual hockey player Let's use this as an example. So I'm going to get rid of this guy. And I'm going to just drag this keyframe. So what I'm going to do in one second is I'm going to be able to make him move left to right. So it'll be like a transition almost. So what I'm doing is I'm duplicating the image. And then I'm going to just move him like, like let's go this way. So let's say if, if this was a video, what I'm doing is I'm using this as a transition or a deflection technique to actually allow me to go from frame to frame, making it look a little bit more interesting. Like that. So let's say, for example, this was an actual video, right? So the player is skating with the puck and then it pretty much these two shutter effect sounds it stops and then you can continue the video again and that would, would be a pretty cinematic video and you guys get the point now that is how you do a camera shutter effect or transition super simple you can do it yourself no after effects plugins or anything just all from adobe premiere by using a color mat and a camera shutter effect sound and uh, that's all and if you have no idea where to start check my links in the description below i have skillshare courses and resources for you to help you on your editing make sure you also check out my adobe premiere editing youtube videos tutorials completely free and as well as make sure you get my free camera guide gear to help you find out all the equipment you need to film your videos my name is Peter. You're watching Broke Vision Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something.